So, I've gotten quite a few messages asking, why does my Unreal character look different from yours? Or, hey, I can't find that character in the content browser. Or, where can I get the character that I see in your videos? And, the reason you can't find her is because it's a custom female doll that I specifically designed to act as a temporary placeholder for all of my female video game characters. And believe it or not, I have been trying very hard to make her available and share her with you guys on the Unreal market, but when I submitted the character to the market, they responded with this. So, listen, we're all professionals here. I have absolutely no problem making any of these changes, and I have no hard feelings whatsoever with this email. The jigs I kind of understand, and a part of me is like, really, the thigh physics too? But, like I said before, I'm a new Unreal developer here. I just moved here from Unity last month, and the Unity and Unreal marketplaces are extremely different. So I'm using this as a learning experience to make sure that all the future assets I submit to the Unreal marketplace fall under appropriate content. But just to make sure I understand these rules correctly, if we go to the marketplace right now and start looking up random things, super hot girls wearing tiny bikinis and swimsuits are fine. Sexy girls wearing latex and intimate lingerie are fine. Naked bodies and blueprints or special effects showing streams of blood, gore, human body, limbs, and head decapitation, these have all been deemed appropriate for younger users on the market, but thigh jiggle physics on a metal doll is where you draw the line. Like. Really, I just want to make sure that I'm understanding this crystal clear, because I do actually want to follow the rules. Like I said, I can and will remove all the jiggle physics, and I will make sure that from here on, I will no longer refer to her as a mannequin. From this point on, she will be called a doll. It doesn't really bother me, but it does kind of complicate things for you guys here who are interested in downloading and using the cool stuff I create in Unreal 5. Because I can tell you right now that every single character I create, male or female, is going to have jiggle physics by design. And what that means is, from this day forward, I will have to release two separate versions of all of my characters. The full red version with jiggle physics included will be on my art station marketplace, and the PG blue version will be available on the Unreal marketplace. Personally, I would have really preferred to keep everything in one place on the Unreal market, but I don't make the rules. I just wanted everyone here who's looking for the character, wondering why it's taking so long for her to become available, to understand what's really going on here behind the scenes. I'm trying my best to sort everything out, and I'll keep you guys posted as soon as she's available, but when you see me release two versions of every character here on YouTube, now you guys know exactly why and what the difference between the two versions is. Hope that clears things up, hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.